Okay, that was a bit, um... Convoluted of an excuse to get me back into a stasis pod. But uh, I guess it works. So yeah, that definitely explained a lot more about the Hiron Project than we initially knew. And if you're watching this before you've watched either my videos on Deus Ex or SSOH's videos or somebody else's videos, then... Spoilers! Those things... The, the, the things with the guys. The chicks they had in that lab there were basically being used as human supercomputers, burning out after a year. And when you hit Panchea, they talk about this Hiron project. Pretty sure that's what they call it, Hiron. And it's basically this one big supercomputer that's underneath. Yeah, so this definitely explained more about like what that's all about, where that came from. Is it, Cause that was kind of just sprung on us at the last minute in the main game, like... Oh shit! There's this thing here, and it's got all these people, and... Fuck, fuck, the fuck was that bitch's name? Um... Tong? No, not, not Tong. The chick who was in charge of Taiyong Medical. I forgot her name. It's on the tip of my tongue. I had it as a level title. Level title. I had it as a video title. Shit, I can't think of it. Anyway, it's that it's that chick who was in charge of Taiyong Medical. Zhao. That was it. Thought it started with a T, but it's, it, it was a Z. Zhao. She's like, she's like, oh, I'm gonna plug into it. Click. Oh no, I can't handle it. No, I'm going in cr crazy. And then you had to shut it off, which was basically the final boss. Um, so yeah, that explains at least where that came from. And I love how they kind of just sprung the choice of, oh, you get to save either the doctor or all these prisoners. And I'm just like, and it was so sudden, I'm like, what? Come on, why, why would you just spring that on us? I mean, there's no way to just like route it out, like, into a area where there are like a ton of guards like the barracks like just run route it into the barracks kill all the fucking guards and I could just be like lol I win but no we've got to choose ooh either we kill the prisoners or we kill uh Tiffany Kavanaugh there we go already this shit's fil filtering out of my brain man overall it did fill in that it was that missing link, and I think it was a good link that needed to be filled in, though I don't don't exactly know why it wasn't, like, in the main game. But, you know, whatever. It, it, whatever at this point. So, 15 bucks. Get it. It's prob... Fuck it. It, it. it is worth playing through, at least once. I'd say. Although I am disappointed it didn't, like, read your saves from the main game and say, oh, well, when you find your stuff, you get all your Praxis back and you can just get whatever you had before. Although that probably would have made it too easy. Because, like, by the end of the game, if I read that save into this, I'd have had a fucking heavy rifle, full inventory, like... Level 5 security, turret domination, robot domination, this, that, and the other thing. I would have been a fucking monster running around their base. Being like, oh yeah? Oh, you think you're tough, Mr. Burke? I got a plasma gun. What you got? I got it off this guy who's who I killed, but he's still alive at this point in the game. Fucking Namir. Although that was kind of a anticlimactic boss fight. He just opened the door, I rolled up and shot him a couple times. At least Namir and that comb over chick whose name I forget and Barrett were like they basically just ate like ten times as many protein bars and had so much more health. So it was something of a challenge. This guy, it's mostly just getting to him, then kill him, and then wander off. And it's like, okay, just kill everyone, and then you get this contact, and he's like, Good job, I'm gonna send you away. 
Although at the end there, I think... I think, like, the Illuminati is actually a part of this. Like, the, he, the dude actually works for the Illuminati, and he actually sent me after this. Or he, a he was telling the truth and was like, Oh, yeah, we work with this super secret group, and they're... We're the good guys, and we're fighting the Illuminati. Which is about as believable as the actual Illuminati. Call them the Assassins, versus the Templars. But, yeah. You know what? Whatever. It's getting warm in here. So I'll just leave this run for a bit while I go do stuff.